Hello, welcome to the fourth of the uh, short clips of the How To series of the new Peugeot 208. This is the GT Line spec fitted with the 10 inch sat nav screen. One of my subscribers had asked me to show something a little bit about the personalization on the dials, and so this is uh, for them and uh, just showing you how you can actually change them. Peugeot supplies some standardized fittings and then there's two personal settings that you can do. So first of all, this is the dials setting. Now this is a 3D cockpit display. It doesn't come out very well on camera, but the um, speed limit recognition system or the road sign recognition system is actually set further away from the speedo from the naught of the speedo and that's because Peugeot obviously think that your speed is more important than knowing what the signs say which is obviously correct. So this is the dials display now then to change it to one of the preset settings that Peugeot have done we can use the scrolling key which is this one here and you can just scroll down one notch and then you'll see the screen change to driving. Now you've got the two grey gray lines there, that is um, for the active lane assist and the uh, cruise control. If the car starts to stray towards the edge of the road or to the centre line, those will, one of those lines will start to flash orange as the car makes its own correction. So you can actually see again in real time what the car is actually doing. Again, Another just going to the scrolling button, one click down, and it goes to the navigation mode. Now this won't show up very clearly on the uh, dash on the camera, um, but if I focus in a little bit, you can actually see, and if you have your route planned, uh, it will be there right in front of you. The speedo obviously goes to one side on this occasion. If I rotate again, it goes to minimum setting. This is a 2D setting, which is actually nice and clear and still gives you all the information that you generally require. Don't worry about the range of 136 with the what looks like pretty much the full battery. The car's sat for a couple of days and the climate control's been on and off um, and it hasn't gone anywhere and then I've just charged it back up so prior to that it was actually showing around about 180 miles in the current sort of 60 degrees temperature so don't worry about that. So I know there have been a few things about the range uh, being questioned on this car but uh, I can verify that at least on this one the GOM, while starts off um, a little bit sort of inaccurate in its what it starts with, as you drive it compensates and I have seen a realistic 180 to 190 miles uh, with mixed A road and motorway driving and town driving as well included in that. So we rotate once again and we come to the personal one setting which on this occasion I have set for the radio channel so you can see there matches up with what it says on the screen there. Coming back, personal two, I've got for the trip meter. Again, it's showing a 3.3, I think, kilowatt hour. Um, it's dropped to 3.2 miles per kilowatt hour. Now again, it's been sat. Uh, it was near a three, it was about 3.8 earlier. So yeah, don't worry too much about that. So you can see th those are my two personal settings. Then we go back to the energy dial. Now, and that actually shows in real time what the car is actually doing. Uh, if it's blue, it will be taking power. The wheels will be rotating as well. If it's green, there's energy going back into the battery under the regen. Uh, so again, you'll see that in real time as you're driving. And then we come back to the dials. So to actually change the personal settings to your own preference ones. So I'm just gonna quickly scan back through to personal one so you'll see that coming back up should be to the radio if i remember correctly yes so so for those that have perhaps seen some of the other videos with the main screen you've got two ways of accessing the sort of settings menus one is three fingers tap on that and it goes to the home setting that actually mirrors the touch keys down here at the back um, and sometimes I do find it easier just to use the screen and get the keys back up there. For the personalization settings, you don't actually need to do that. All you need to do is actually click on the settings button on the top right there. Then it goes to the profile screen. I will cover profiles in another short video clip uh, later on. So obviously you also have your turn off screen and also in that you have your audio settings, 
where you can change your balance and your bass treble medium of your speakers etc but I'll go back to that so to get to the personalization settings for the personal one option press options and you can see instrument panel personalization click on that so we have personal one on the left here you've got media and distraction detection and on personal two trip computer and again distraction detection you can't have two of the same things on both personal one and two to change it so just to confirm obviously you can see it the currently set personal one is on radio three that keeps my clients nice and happy and relaxed and if you click on down arrow there it puts distraction detection into the middle I'm going to move the camera to the display panel now before I press on OK because it changes quite quickly and I just want you to see the change on the display. I'm just going to press OK now and you can see level of vigilance. And what that actually does is the car monitors uh, how alert you are basically uh, when you're driving and if you are becoming less alert it will flash up warnings, coffee symbols etc to actually say that you really ought to be taking a break. So once again can come back to personalization settings click on the up arrow there for media media goes to the middle bit coming back to that and then you will see as I click on OK it goes back to radio 3 hope you found that informative for the time being there will be other clips to follow thank you for watching and I hope you're enjoying your Peugeot 208 as much as I am